hanging out with Vicki Emick. I met her last year at this show here at the New York State Fairgrounds with the Northeast Racers Auction and Trade Show. She is the owner of the Rush Racing Series. How have you been doing? Wonderful and glad to be here. I got to see you in action last year. You guys came out to my track. You and your people, you really got a good thing going, don't you? I absolutely do. I mean, you know, I'm surrounded with so many great people. I mean, obviously, my job is to drive the series, work for, you know, with the promoters, get us to these events. But I, I'm always confident when I get wherever because I've got great people. I've got Mike Leone, who's been with me for 25 years. You know, he's co-owner of my series. And, and all the guys that surround me make me feel confident. I'll take them anywhere in the country. Yeah, and I got a chance to watch you. You're right in there. You're you're not just sitting there in the trailer directing people. You're moving cars around. You're yeah. you're doing. It, yeah. You enjoy it as much as I do. Is that yeah. just a part of I it mean, you I like? I grew up in racing. You know, I've been involved in racing over 50 years as a car owner with my dad for over 40 years and owning Mercer Raceway Park for 11. And now I forgot about that. And this is now 16 years. We've just completed with this. And uh, I really enjoy being in tech with Travis Harry, who's my tech guy. That way, as the cars are coming through. Tech, I'm seeing my racers, you know, able to talk to them prior to the night's events. And then again, because I've got such good people taking care of everything else, I'm able then, and then I go to post tech. So I like to be around them, you yeah. know, and, and they know I'm there and uh, I'm not sitting upstairs somewhere. I mean, my, my racers know me, you know, yeah. and, and by, you know, whatever. I think it's a good thing. And I got to give your PR people credit. You and I talked about this a little bit yesterday. Yes. They don't just do the standard race releases, but there's a lot of stuff. You did one where you did little features on each driver. You had a couple of paragraphs. I don't know why more series don't pump up the drivers rather than just results and a pre-race story. Well, I mean, number one, Mike Leone's been with me for over years. And that's who does that. Years. Mike's always been my PR guy as far as anything you read about, Rush, press releases, etc. Mm -hmm. But we brought different people on the staff. We got Marty now, you know, Selznick, uh, does oh, yeah. the, you know, goes down and does the, you know, he travels with us and does all the social media stuff, interviewing the drivers. And I, I got a, a lot of good people around me as far as the public relations and the PR, which we need not only for ourselves as Rush, but for our racers and our sponsors. And, and we reached more people this year via our social media than we ever have before. And I know it's because of the combination of what we yes. have going on with those people. Of course, it's also that experience for them when they come to the track at a Rush, like we did the Rush Late Model race last year. You guys had everything under control. I mean, if the face and the handshake still means a lot in this business, doesn't it? It does. I mean, like I say, that's why I'm in tech with Travis and, uh, you know, it, it does. I mean, you just, we need to showcase these racers. You know, we mean, we want to make them feel like they're part of something. Yes. And we have tremendous following, uh, both at our weekly tracks. Our touring's fantastic. I mean, I can take them anywhere, and I'm, I'm going to roll a good show into them tracks. And so, in turn, I want to I want to show them off. I want to let the people know who's coming and, and really make them want to be there. First time I heard about you guys, I guess I thought all you did was late models. But I went to a show at Genesee. And you have, because how many different divisions do you, do you run? we got five different divisions in my small karting series. Um, we started with the late model 16 years ago, and I call Rush a plug-and-play system. Everything that we're doing is pretty much the same across the board with the Rush sealed engines, the spec Hoosier tires. I mean, I'm a Sunoco spec series. I mean, everything kind of, it's across the board. It's so similar, <coughs> you know. Excuse me all the concepts that we've developed uh, throughout the years, you know, it's pretty much the same regardless of the division you're in. Anything you can tell me about next year at this point? Uh, I, I think it's going to be uh, good as it was this year. All our classes are healthy. We're bringing good car counts to our tracks. Um, our touring schedule is going to be pretty similar. We're adding another swing of three events. We've tried to put that touring stuff together so the guys are able to go to back-to-back -back nights. Or yeah, not just one weekend, right? Whether one I take weekend. them down to the Battle of the Bay, that's four straight nights in the Mid-Atlantic, and it's really working well. We had the best core of uh, late model touring guys that we've ever had, nice. but we also probably got the richest touring point fund in the country right now for late, great late models. Overall, we'll probably. Um, these guys will take over a hundred and some thousand dollars in championship point funding. Wow. Point, point fund money is just our late models. Okay. How can people find out more? What's the website? Uh, www.rushlatemodels.com, rushsprintcars.com. Oh, they each have their own. They each okay. Have, now you can travel between them by, you know, different apps on one. Oh, I see. Yeah, obviously very heavily on the Facebook, Twitter. They all also have their own individual Good. pages. Uh, yeah. 
All right, well, good to see you again, and uh, you. we'll see you at the tracks uh, uh, this summer. And I get all their stuff, guys. So, if you, is there a way they can subscribe and get on the mailing yes, list? Yes, please. If they're interested in Rush, all they have to do is email us at info at rushracingseries.com. Gotcha. Say, hey, we want to get on your PR list, mm -hmm. and Mike will get them added, and uh, they'll keep up with everything that's going on with Rush. Nice to see you again, Vicki. Thank you. Hit the blue E, subscribe, like, hit all that stuff, hit the PayPal if you can. And uh, did you get that? A video I sent you? Yes, I did. Okay, we're not going to talk about yeah, that, but yeah, it was something but, uh, that... It's great information that I'll be looking at when I get home, and uh, we're very, you know, we watch over that stuff pretty close that you sent me. I need to look at all that. Yeah, so. they do the ones with the bad Brad and the safety Who equipment. has been a great corporate marketing partner of Rush's. I have so many others, but Brad's been a, just with me for many years, and it's good to our racers. And me. You take care, Vicki. So.